Hey everyone and welcome back to the point and click devlog, an ongoing series in which I, a one man band with no real experience, attempt to make a fully fledged point and click adventure game. For this third update I've been playing with pixels, grappling with gradients and attempting to take one of the game's 32 different backdrops from this to this. Stay tuned past this fancy new intro and I'll tell you all about it. So if you didn't catch the last episode, uh, we more or less got to a point where our design document is now complete um, with all our puzzles, items and the characters nailed. Um, so next on the list was, and kind of still is, the mammoth task of bringing the game to life through artwork. Happily I can confirm that we're well and truly off the starting blocks here, um, with one of the game's many backgrounds now more or less done. So I wanted here to dive into how that happened, um, what I learned, and what I'd recommend if you're attempting something similar. So after looking at a few options in terms of art software, I decided to get started using Pixarchy, which is an iOS app for iPad um, for creating pixel art stills and animation. Um, I figured that you know using pixel art with a somewhat limited canvas size would, would help constrain me in terms of how much detail to worry about on any one object um, in any one room. But I guess more importantly, I, I thought the medium would best match the kind of light-hearted tone I'm after for the game as a whole. So I started off with a 480 by 270 widescreen canvas, um, created a reference layer with a one-point perspective, that's where the angles on all the furniture and the walls are all going to be dictated by one point in the distance, um, and just started drawing. So we started here with a very crude rough sketch of the furniture etc. Um, and then just went on layer by layer, adding in my furniture and items until I was happy with how everything looked. Oh, and it's, it's probably worth noting that the, the characters that pop in and out here um, are just placeholder ones for now, so don't worry about those too much. So by the end of that drawing process, um, which is probably about three to five hours in all, um, I had a room that I was reasonably happy with. Um, I even had time to fiddle about animating some rain on that pack window there. Um, but as much as the overall design was looking along the right lines, um, at this point I felt that everything still seemed a bit flat and lifeless. So I wanted as a next step to, to figure out how to uh, add some moodier lighting to the scene. To do that I jumped over into Affinity Photo which is another iPad app and though it is also available on desktop. I just started experimenting with gradients. Um, I basically sectioned each wall or area at a time, uh, filled it with a gradient and then tweaked the opacity until it started to look a bit deeper, you know, taking taking the window on the right of the room as the, the main source of light there. This was all a bit of trial and error um, and things still aren't exactly final final, but by the end of the process um, I got to this. Again, the guy stood there isn't final or anything, but I'm pretty happy with this um, as one of the first rooms in the game. Um, and pleased with the general atmosphere of it, I think. Um, I still want to add that rain back in at some point, but you know we'll, we'll get to that later on. So what did I learn? Well, a couple of big things really. First up is uh, something I knew I'd be bad at from previous experience, um, and that is that I'm awful at managing layers. Um, there are like 60 layers in this final image uh, and they're all over the place, unnamed, ungrouped and just a bit chaotic. So I need to sort that out otherwise I'll have issues in future um, and I need to just get better at organising as I go. I think for the next room we'll start drawing the things at the back first and work forwards rather than just drawing what I wanted to in any old order um, and I think that will help me in terms of keeping things organised. My second main learning here was just about some of the quirks of Pixarchy um, and Affinity Photo. As I said, my original canvas was 480 by 270 pixels, um, but then I wanted to export that 
um, as a Photoshop file so I could open it in Affinity and have my lighting. Um, and when I quadrupled the pixel count in Affinity to make everything fully HD, that's 1920 by 1080, um, it did this kind of pixel smoothing thing, which I actually really like as an aesthetic, to be honest. Um, I think it looks a bit painterly and abstract. Um, now that's, that's more luck than judgment. Um, but it just goes to show that you should probably know more about what you're doing before you spend hours and hours on anything. Um, I got a bit lucky here, but if I wanted this to still look more pixel arty, then I probably would have lost a lot of time. Um, but I think in general, there's always you know a balance to strike between research and just throwing yourself into something. Um, in that sometimes you just have to get your hands dirty early or you lose interest in your project. Um, perhaps you can let me know if you agree. Um, and how you strike that balance yourself. So overall, I'm fairly happy with where we're at and how things are going. Uh, this room I've drawn is actually the second in the game, chronologically, don't ask me why, um, but I'm gonna make a start on the first one, and then maybe we can have a look at uh, prototyping our character walking around um, and transitioning between those two rooms. So that's it for now. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Hope you're staying safe and sane on lockdown um, and I will catch you next time. Bye.